Welcome back, everybody. You know, it's one thing to bake a cake or make some cupcakes, but it's a whole other thing to turn it into a work of art. My next guest is the owner of Goods by K Creative and the author of a new book coming out called Pop Art, Decorating and Shaping Custom Cake Pops. I'm joined by Chris Galicia Brown. Chris, thanks for coming in. Thank you. Thanks for having me. This is really exciting because, you know, this has become a big industry. The baking industry and all of its various ways, shapes, and forms has become very big. How did you get started? It was actually completely by chance. Um, completely by chance. I'm going to backtrack a little bit. I worked for an ad agency. I was a creative for an ad agency. And I was pregnant when the economy was taking a dive. And coming back from maternity leave, you know, I really had no job. Okay. And then um, after a year or so of doing freelance graphic design work, um, my daughter was turning one. I came across these cake pops online. You know, I just Googled things that I could make for her party. <laughs> and then... Um, and that's where it came from. You know, I started experimenting. I, I actually didn't make them for a party. I revisited it and then mm -hmm. um, made them, posted them online on Facebook. And then, you know, friends and family just started inquiring, you know, can you make this for me? Can you make that for <laughs> me? And it just snowballed into this, this thing. So had you been a person who liked to bake and stuff like this before? I was a hobby baker. Okay. Yes, okay. And, a, and a DIYer. Uh -huh. and, and, I, and I cook, obviously, a lot. Sure, sure. Um, but yeah, it was just completely by chance So, so somewhere along the line, though, you made the decision that this has got some professional potential, and that you could take this to the next level, opening your own shop and doing your own work, right? Yes, absolutely. Um, what happened was, where I got my big break, was there was a local party planner um, that had me do these hot air balloons for her, oh. and um, for her hot air balloon themed party, which she then sent to various um, entertaining and party blogs, and she got featured, and it was she was on the front of Pinterest and all the stuff, and so, you know, my cake pops <laughs> were there, and, and that was a really big deal. That's where I got my start. And that feature was on Hostess with the Mostess, which is probably the most prestigious party entertaining blog. Great. Which is, yeah. All right, take us through some of the things you've done here, because these are all so unique. They're really, really clever. What? Give us a couple yes. of examples. Here. So this is actually what a typical cake pop would look like. Okay, to um, start plain, with. Plain Jane cake pop. Um, this is the hot air balloon cake pop that I made, ah. and um, so everything I do is custom. What, what do they call that stuff that's bonded? Do you no, use that? A, it's called candy coating. A candy coating. Yeah, okay. it's similar to chocolate. Chocolate, it just melts at a higher degree. Okay. So that's what's considered candy. Um, so this is a raven. I just brought it. You know, Halloween's <laughs> coming up, and this sure. is actually my second. Um, blog that I got featured in was with Amy Atlas in New York. Okay. So another big, <laughs> oh, wow. big blog. So these are my first two. Um, this is a mermaid tail that nice. has been very popular. And uh, How long does it take you, for instance, on that mermaid tail? How long does it take to make one of those? Um, this is actually not, because it's just shaping uh -huh. and then piping. Like these have other pieces to it, so it right. takes a little bit more time. Right. Um, but I, I have a way to streamline it, so you know I shape all of them and then I zip all of them and, and decorate them. And we should point out there's there's cake. There's cake. There. Yes. Okay, right. Yeah, a cake pop is cake <laughs> and frosting mixed together, and uh -huh. that's what you know cake pop dough. That's what how you form. Got it. Got all it. of these cake pops. Great, great. Yeah. So th so these are really clever. And uh, do you do a lot of custom work too when people come in with an idea? And do you get a chance to do some designing still today? Oh, it's um, it's absolutely all custom work. Um, and as far as designing, like graphic designing, yes. So but you've got that background, yeah. Yes. Yeah. I do like to take a break from this and go back to my roots <laughs> and, you know, dabble that. So, um, but, so when I relaunched uh, my brand about a year and a half ago into Goods by K-Creative, um, it will combine these goods and also dry goods. So I want to incorporate, you know, a lot of my graphic design sure. background into what I'm going to do. Okay, so you've got this, you, you've done this, and along comes the idea for a book. Actually, <laughs> that, that, was a, that was my chance also. Uh, of course. Um, <laughs> my publisher contacted me, and they said, you know, we just recently published a book for another party entertaining blogger, and, you know, every time we go to Pinterest and look for cake pops and things, it always brings them back to me. Gotcha. So, um, you know, they reached out, and they said, you know, do you want to do this? And, and of course, well, yeah. Sure, give it a go. How, how you, you've mentioned this quite a few times. How important is the internet, blogging, and other things like that?
that to, to your business? Oh, social media, it's all about social media. I have not spent a dime on advertising. Everything's been social media and word of mouth. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's amazing the length that that can take you. I mean, it's, it's really the best for a small business owner. And what advice would you give to, to a, another entrepreneur who sees maybe an opportunity they might have an idea they would want to follow up? How, how would you suggest they get started with this? I would suggest to do to do the exact same thing. You know, take take something so people can see, visualize what it is that you're offering them, mm -hmm. and and just get it out there by all means. You know, friends, family, Facebook, anything, sure. and then you know, and then just do it do it at your pace, your way. You know, don't feel pressured with <laughs> you know what other people are doing. Of course. Well, listen, this is a great story, and, and I'm so glad we had a chance to meet and continued success with what you're doing. Thank you. Good stuff. Really enjoyed talking with you. Thank you. Thanks so much. Okay, up next, we're going to take a few moments to take a look at what we're going to talk about on our next edition of Money Matters. Stay with us.